video games ain't just for kids. If they were, explain these three grown men and their podcast. Welcome to the Scope Creep Saloon. You guys, you guys fuck with Fresca? You guys heard about this drink? I open a crispy boy right now. A little, a little ice cold Fresca, and this is a treat. Right, let, let me tell you right here. I can't say I fuck with it that often, but I would agree that is the best of the lemon lime sodas. Well, this is a grapefruit soda. What the hell? And there's also there's also a black a blackberry one that's right, less well, sweet. Now nah, you're showing off. <laughs> Wait. You guys are, this is a bit, right? What do you mean? I'm drinking Fresco right now. You guys, this is exactly, this banter is recorded in the last episode we did. Wow. There's literally wow, a conversation crazy. where Andrew goes, do you guys fuck with Fresca? You guys fuck with Fresca at all? And Frank wow. literally says, it's the best <laughs> no of the lemon at all. Soda. <laughs> well, I think it is the best of the sort of, if you put it in the same category as a Sprite. <laughs> Wow, we're in a time loop, dude. Oh my god, dude. I am freaking out. I was like, wow, really? I can't believe I was like, did they like rehearse this bit? I was like, did they listen to the last episode and then rehearse this? Oh my god. Okay, so it feels it uh-huh. feels to me like so I've been in a death spiral of work so yeah. bad that it feels like it's been two years since we've recorded. So I have no <laughs> recollection of anything I said at all. Dude. Like I I, yeah, I, anything could have happened. I forget if I used it in the intro or not. <laughs> it's very relevant to the video games. <laughs> I, yeah, no, I have no recollection. That was not a bit. No, it's it's great. You guys have a whole frosty conversation. And then Andrew goes, I also like squirt. And then Frank's like, excuse oh, me? Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. And now then, I have a whole remember squirt conversation. I remember yes. squirt. Listen now. How could you forget? I, I've said it. I've said it once. I've said it. I'll say it again. People sleep on squirt. I don't think you should say it again. <laughs> when you say you said it once, I I think you've literally said it once on the <laughs> yeah, show. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say it again on the show. I'm going to go on the record. I'm going to say squirt is the most delicious thing you can oh, drink. Oh, my God. Uh, oh. You know, you know, you're saying it like that, right? You're just doing that. <laughs> You're doing Sword it. Squirt like, is delicious. Yeah, you're just doing it's it. A like good, that. It's a good. It's good to drink. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna apologize. Oh my God. You should. You should choose your words more carefully. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone, and welcome to Scope Creep Saloon, the show where we take a random prompt and speed run, turning it into a game pitch. I'm Eric. I'm Andrew. Frank. <laughs> <laughs> and on today's episode, we pull the words powered running shoes, monk, and top chef. And if there's one thing you're going to learn in today's episode, it's that actions have consequences. Because we sure <laughs> did. <laughs> if during the course of the episode our chat inspires any ideas, please share them with us at Scope Creep Pod on Twitter and at Scope Creep Saloon everywhere else enjoy the show you want to say say something <laughs> go ahead i was, I was gonna tell these just these dirty low lives to enjoy the show that's all i was gonna <laughs> say <laughs> Man. all right here we go i'm gonna pull three words out of the hat that yes frank i have never seen before Agreed. This we're gonna re- <laughs> we're gonna read them <laughs> off, and then we're gonna let it rip. This trick is old and dirty. Mm-hmm. All right. First word. Oh, powered running shoes. Sick. Well, that's a game. That's awesome. Well, that's a game. Well, that's called I, Titanfall, I can't baby. <laughs> Second slip. Monk. Wow. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh no! I just thought something so funny. He's <laughs> like, oh, no. what Wait, if a monk a sec, ran a really fast? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. I. Oh my god! I can't wait to see where this next third goes. one. Top chef. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Oh well. Okay. So obviously, you know, uh, this is all hinging on the word monk, mm. and what I'm thinking is. 
you know, what if you st- <laughs> what if you strapped rocket powered shoes to the character Monk from beloved TV series <laughs> Monk <laughs> trapped in the okay, rocket cool. shoes <laughs> and solves, and solves yeah. crimes. <laughs> right. Here's the thing: Monk is a show that I knew about, but I knew nothing about. Yeah, I just knew that Monk existed. Hey, hold on. I'm just reading is the premise his, right here. Is his yeah. name Monk? Monk's Monk's numerous compulsive habits and phobias compound his situation. Monk is afraid of 312 things, including germs, milk, ladybugs, harmonicas, heights, asymmetry, enclosed spaces, food touching on his plate, messes, germs, frogs, snakes, risk, etc. Okay, hmm. so it's so a imagine man... putting that guy into rocket shoes. Interesting. Yeah, he'd be put way too close to his fears. Yeah, <laughs> too quickly. <laughs> too quickly, too close. Top Chef was the other one? Yeah, Top Chef was the third one. Um What's the I've never watched that either. What's the How does that cooking show work? Does anyone I don't know, know the ex- so, I don't know the exact sort of, rules. Sort of in a sort of in a nutshell as I understand it, like you have uh, a selection of chefs. I think there is like they they're all given the same ingredients. Hmm. And like a prompt of some kind. And then there are rounds. So basically like you have to like um, present uh, a series of dishes to a panel of judges and then they grade it. Hmm. Or you can send a rocket powered monk to the store to get (laughs) your ingredients. Yeah. (laughs) But if they're too gross, he won't get them because he's scared. Yeah. Does not milk. No milk. Yeah. If you do milk, it's over. Yeah. He's great at solving crimes though. Yeah, sometimes he just won't come back because he's solving a crime. (laughs) (laughs) Let's see what ideas we have here. Ah, (laughs) thanks, Frank. (laughs) Says Monk. We've done good it. Bit. A good, just a good little bit, a visual yeah. bit for this medium. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Dear listeners, Frank put a giant sticky note over all our other sticky notes that just said monk. Yeah. So mm. comedic genius. Hard to tell. <laughs> Could be. All right. We got who's this yellow guy? That's, That's me. true. You want me to go? Yeah, make yeah, it you get, yeah, you got a lot of words out here. All Let's right. see what you got. All right, all right, all right. So I'm not going to read them. So, <laughs> um, uh, so the thing I thought about with the combination of cooking and monk, I watched an episode of the show Chef's Table a while ago, and recently rewatched it with my girlfriend, and it I found it incredibly moving. I mean, it was about this this Buddhist monk named Zhang Quan, who basically has been kind of an emissary for the style of cooking that's called temple food um, that these like Korean uh, monks engage in. And it's basically all based around like kind of growing their own, their own food uh, using fermentation. And yeah, so as, as such, it's, it's kind of this, this interesting take on like what it is to, to be nourished by a thing that you're given. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking about this idea of like, like, if you're if you're a monk that like cooks this sort of this sort of type of food, this like kind of temple food, like to be in a situation where you're like sort of conscripted to be on this game show, but you're not like interested in doing that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. But you use it sort of as a vehicle to sort of bring peace and enlightenment to people. So like the real goal of the 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 game is not to like win the game show, but it is to like can can convince people that like this this is like you know a good way to live a good way to be to to engage with peace you know so that was the idea that i had yeah so is it is it kind of like the cooking for breath of the wild but just a little more <laughs> a little more farming involved um no i think it i think it sh- the, the cooking itself should be a bit more involved like i like like cooking mama kind of like i what the hell is the one thing i've mama? seen <laughs> The one thing, the one thing I, I haven't really seen nailed in a game, and like, and maybe there is one that does it. I've never played Cooking Mama, mm-hmm. but like, I think that like the fun thing about cooking is like paying attention to timing and like looking mm. at like what's happening in the pan and being able to see little changes in the food to know mm-hmm. when mm-hmm. it's 
done or ready to be flipped or like ready to be served or like whatever. So like it would be cool if it was some like really detailed, like top down view of things. And you're kind of like observing what's happening as this stuff is cooking and then like working within it somehow. But yeah, that's just a, yeah. Frank, you want to go? I'll jump on the horse here. First, (laughs) we got new Sonic. (laughs) (laughs) Folks, the, that little blue freak has been running around for too long. We got to make a new one. You can pick from characters such as Chip Monk, TV's Monk, and Monk Seal, all with powered shoes. Basically, just a Sonic ripoff from there. But What's the Monk Seal? It's wow, a type a of seal. seal. Okay, a Monk Seal with powered shoes is very good. Yeah, yep. I don't know if I he would wears argue. one shoe. I like. At the I think it his, goes on his, his little fins. fins. I mean, yeah, I think you put a shoe on each fin, and then run with those. Yeah, like the hand fins. Yeah, hundred oh, percent. Interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I think there's certain areas where you where you transform into the monk seal, and he like has a weird ability. He's got a sliding ability for sure. Where he picks up the shoes and slides. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And then TV's monk is able to solve the mystery. My next idea is walk punks. We got some fast walking kids running amok. So just a cartoonish skater vibe of kids, but they only walk like slightly faster than everybody else, but they act like it's really radical. And I posited the question, (laughs) should it look like just kind of like a more cartoonish game or should it be a full Tony Hawk pro skater? But all you can do is walk. Um, (laughs) It's just like, yeah, it's just Tony. Tony Tony walks pro skater. Tony walks. Tony walks. (laughs) There we go. Put that in there. Do you think Tony Walks Pro Prayer is anything? Wow. Uh, damn. <laughs> wow. I think it is now. <laughs> All right. Like, and there's some kind of scoring system. Like, God is like, yo, dude, that fucking backflip you did was so sick. Stylish prayer. Yeah. I'm going to just quickly talk about mine, some of which actually is very similar to what Frank had. So I'll just kind of run through it. Okay. Top Chef style cooking show. Where you have to forage for your ingredients with rocket-powered shoes like Sonic. All right, Top Chef style competition, but for monks, who be praying the best? And that's what mm. kind of Frank was talking about. And then yeah. I wrote down here Brotherhood of the Hedgehog because I was kind of thinking mm. it would be fun for maybe a number of reasons to have them like to make up a religion for the purpose of this. And so oh, it's a like Sonic religion, a Sonic religion. And so that's maybe where the speed comes into play, but it also gives us some more leeway to figure out like what their tasks would be. But it's, it's, it's monk like in terms of like, they kind of like live in a monastery, they live in isolation. They do their, their things, their, their chores and their rituals and all that. There, there's some, there are, there are a few good options here. I think there are a, a few paths. I, like, I don't really feel like I know which one I want to strike. Out. Like there, are, I could, I, I guess here's what I'll say. There's like probably four or five things in the board right now that I'm like, yeah, I, we, I can fuck with that. And I don't feel particularly strongly that like any of them are better. So tell I don't me, know if tell me about which opinion. ones you could fuck with. Uh, Tony, Tony walks pro prayer is extremely funny to me. Yeah. And I like that a lot. Um, Brotherhood of the hedgehog uh, idea is very funny to me. Um, like I, I like, <laughs> yeah, just, just a Sonic the hedgehog based monk is very good. Mm. And then, like the I think, general I think, cooking idea, the, the, yeah, the general, the general, started. like, yep, yeah. I was gonna say, like, like so, something along the lines of like, you, you're a monk at a cooking show, like, yeah. like in some something in that vein. I think I could fuck with. Yep. Yeah, I think probably those are the ones that are jumping out to me. Cool, Frank. <sighs> hmm. I think the base game of Tony Walks Pro, Tony Walks Pro Prayer. <laughs> it's kind of what we're edging at here, but I think that world can have a brotherhood of the hedgehog. That is true. Mm. I don't know if we want to start that way because we kind of want like the, the Christian monk, but I think we kind of want the Christian monk. So it's like the, we can use the iconography and it's kind of funny that he's like trying to get God to notice him. Yeah. You know, I think, but we can, we can, in terms of the religious aspect, we can, do whatever we want with it right where it's like we can make it we can make it christian we can make it pseudo christian we can make it full hog we can we can put sonic on a, <laughs> on a crucifix you know what i'm saying like 
Hey. <laughs> Sonic on a All crossfader. All right. Well, I mean, we got to have got to have that. <laughs> yeah. I got to have it. <laughs> but I like the idea of the cooking. Sort of a, a chill cooking game. I kind of like the idea that you can either tend the garden and be like an actual wholesome monk, or you can choose to join the monk competition. The and, and just two different games can happen. <laughs> you can just be like, N- "That's weird. Why is there a monk like monk off?" No, and then you just a nice little nice little gardening game. You know, truly in the spirit of the name of the show, the idea that like there's a game, <laughs> and basically at the games. beginning you just say like be extreme or be gardener and then there's just two entirely separate games right like, never the twain <laughs> shall meet that's pretty good i like that yeah i don't i don't want anything crossing over at all yeah you yeah you either have a ch- yeah, chill garden simulator or you're doing extreme stunts yeah uh to to make god <laughs> grant you yeah. his favor Actually, it's like the only uh, dialogue box in the whole game <laughs> it's right yeah, at the beginning right. <laughs> do you want to be radical I think Amazing. that more people should live with the consequences of their actions. Wow. So I think this Hot is take. Hot I want to run with Frank's idea of there are two different games and you have one moment to choose which one you're playing. <laughs> no, we got we got to do it. The, the the scope is creeping and that's that's what we do around here. We're going to th- we're going to thread the needle, boys. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, the idea we're going to work with is Tony Walks Pro Prayer. Which <laughs> we don't have to. We can just skip the title. We, we don't have to go to that section. <laughs> yeah, we don't have we're to not do gonna do, We're not going to do better than that. Yeah, one of the two games, one of the full games in our one game, is <laughs> the, the game that is basically <laughs> Tony Hawk, but instead of riding a skateboard, you're running around, and your tricks are ways to show your devotion to the Lord, which may be Sonic the <laughs> right, Hedgehog. Right, right, right. Okay. The other completely which separate may or may game. Not be. <laughs> Inside of our single game is like a low key monk. Jill beats yeah. to garden mm-hmm. too. Oh, I think yeah. he gets to but, cook too. I think he still gets to cook. Yeah, yeah. I don't think I don't think the gardening one has to be particularly deep. I think it can just be a nice little chill thing. I think we can di- we can dig more into the the proprietary thing. Yeah, it's juxtaposed with like the extremeness of the other one. Um, yeah. But well, again, live with the consequences of your actions. You make you made a choice, and you must fucking live with it. all right i try to keep it in terms of the two games so i've got extreme prayer and garden monk uh extreme prayer it's kind of like what we talked about you walk around the city you find people who need your help perform miraculous prayer combos to earn miracles <laughs> from God. Failed combos are perma losses on those missions. So if there's wow. a little boy who says, I lost my dog. Can you pray for me for him to come back? And you fail that, that kid's never finding that dog. The end. <laughs> you get exactly cool. one shot. So all the combos are high stakes movement. It's like Tony Hawk in that you're like, kind of sh- moving around but you're just on shoes there's maybe a button to like glide or skate or when you start a combo you like just go into like sprint mode and it starts but you can like kind of slide around you can grind wall run do parkour different body poses and gestures gestures act as tricks so what you're doing with your hands and your arms and your legs and all that and then flips and shit so yeah you're, you're going nuts your mm. legs Full on, you know, you're running up a wall, you're doing a backflip, you're doing a clasped hand mid flip. That's tight. All of these things. So that's on the extreme side, on the garden monk side. I'm thinking during dreams and or meditation, you're kind of given this abstract divine inspiration about what to cook. So yeah. So let me get this straight. So like you essentially have some kind of a vision, but the vision is abstract. And so you're trying to like extrapolate what you should be growing based on the vision you've had. Yes. Yeah. That's it's, cool. I like that, dude. That's really fun. Cool. Those are all solid ideas. Cool, cool. Frank, do you want me to go next or you want to go next? Um, For the chilled out monk, I want there to be no UI at all and no instruction. I like it. I like it. You just, you're just putting stuff in the ground and you got to figure it out. It's like a real time kind of thing, right? Like you, you can only sleep at night and it takes some time. 
I mean, not real time, but you know what I mean? Like it's, it takes yeah. a bit of patience. And when you plant something, it's a whole animation where it plants, like you got to put it in the ground. You got to put in the work. You know what I mean? Like sometimes you're just going around picking up eggs from your coop. Like you got to do it. Mm. Yep. I wanted to bring up starving to death. What happens then? Maybe you just can't. And that's chiller. Hmm. I also was thinking about yeah, the, maybe the Lord. The Lord sends down manna from heaven. Yeah, you're good. Mm. I mean, you don't have a health bar, so you don't know. <laughs> so mm. I guess you could just sit there all day. Or your stomach could be growling really bad every time you wake up. <laughs> um, and then there's – I thought about like a market, right? So you could like sell some of your extra f- fruits or whatever for stuff. But then I thought one of, one of the bad end games is that if you get – I don't know if you buy like uh, luxurious things for your monastery, the Lord destroys your crops. Wow. <laughs> smiting. I like this. Yeah. This smiting. is good. This is good. And that's actually a way to get back to the first dialogue tree. I think nope. is if nope. God Ooh. kills you. Nope. No, no. Nope. Okay. <laughs> nope. You have to re- delete and then reinstall the game. <laughs> with, with, <laughs> <laughs> with with the right software, even that won't work. We know what hardware wow. you downloaded it on, and we say no. Oh, we tie it to your account. Oh. And we say no. Oh, you're like, oh, you're going all the way. Well, I'm not going to half-ass it. If you guys want to make two games in one, let's commit to something. Dang, I thought you guys were all about. You're commitment. making two games in one, but everybody only gets one. <laughs> yeah, just like one life. What, listen, what if I said this whole episode? Live with your fucking choices. Live with your fucking choices. Live with your choices. And I think I, I think doubling down on this is perfectly fine by me. <laughs> I know I started this, but I didn't, I didn't know we were getting this wicked with well, it. Well, he's going to end You got to live with your consequences, Frank. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dang. I got to. <laughs> now my actions have consequences. Yeah, exactly. You're playing the Dang. game right now, baby. Oh, God. The game is life. <laughs> I do have a question. I think I feel like I, I agree with like we want the farming thing to be chill. Mm-hmm. And maybe it just goes on kind of forever. But I, I do. It feels like it feels like we do want an incentive of a thing getting better or worse. Like, right. For example. Like, I wonder if instead of life, there's something externally we can translate it to like. Um, like saving the soup kitchen or something. I mean, counter argument, people love animal crossing. No, but yeah, but in, in animal crossing, they like get to build something, right? Like they're building a little town and like a little compound of stuff. Oh, I, I viewed it as like, well, we haven't gotten to my stuff yet, but I, I viewed it as like, you're sort of like expanding your like repertoire. You know what I mean? Like you're, you're, you're growing different types of plants. Mm-hmm. You're like expanding the things you can cook. You're like, yeah, uh, like for, and the thing Frank said about like yeah, maybe getting a new prayer bench or something for your house. Yeah, like, yeah. Maybe that, maybe that, yeah, maybe that's part of part of the thing. Yeah, I mean, like another thing I'm imagining is like there could be paintings that like flesh out as you. Ooh, that's cool. And so as you like do well, doing well is like you're not overextending your gardening, you're not messing up the food that you're cooking. Because like if you're not going to die, then I. I think there needs to be something that, oh, if you're not okay, eating here, well, here it, it, is. it it doesn't hold together well. Here it is. Here it mm. is. Here it is. All right, I like this. the The, the paintings are filling in, right? You're, they're mm-hmm. filling in. You're doing you're doing well. You're moving through the game. At, when you complete the game, it finally is revealed that the deity that you've been worshiping revealed in this painting is Sonic the Hedgehog. Right. 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 <laughs> right. 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 It's like it's like a it's like a um, a Renaissance painting of our favorite hog. Yeah. Hmm. A holy hog. Yeah, you like <laughs> unlock. I was thinking you unlock like different doors in the monastery, and you find the paintings in there, and it's just like sick ass angel Renaissance paintings. But the last one is just Sonic. No yeah. explanation. It's like Deviant Art Sonic. Right. He's Good. pregnant. Is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, of course. <laughs> sure. Why not? Yeah, and I think I um, think the the one connection between the two games would be that in both cases that is. That is the ultimate revelation. Yeah. Right. The the win condition in both games, you find out. 
the Sonic deity is, is is Sonic the Hedgehog God. Hedgehog. <laughs> yeah, Sonic the Hedgehog. And he possibly could smite you with his speed yeah. at the end of the game, Easily. depending on your choices. Yeah. <laughs> true let's let's hear what you got okay so i guess i'll start with the pro prayer stuff that i had so yeah i think it was i was envisioning something similar to like jet set radio future it's all about like stylish praying it's all about combos i thought about the idea of club remixes of hymns being the soundtrack which i thought was pretty good sick uh i like that a lot So longer combos raise your God index. And if the God index gets high enough, he performs a miracle for you. And you get to grind up a rail on the stairway to heaven and enter a secret skate park in the clouds for the gardening stuff. uh, There weren't like a ton of like things that I had that, that you guys didn't cover as saying like, yeah, similar to animal crossing, low stress, low stakes, experimenting with different combinations of ingredients, least unlike new recipes. And then like cross pollinating and creating different types of plants to like use is like another like kind of facet of the game. Hmm. Sweet. I think what we have to iron out is extreme monk. What is like, I, I maybe that goes into story and world, but what do we feel like his, his goals are? Like he's going to be doing sick parkour all over town, but what is it? It's going to look like Tony Hawk, but he's walking around, but what is, is there like a story to that part or. I mean, I, I think, what I've imagined based on how we've talked about it is like, I mean, I really like Drew's thing of if your God index gets high enough, you rail grind to heaven. And the way your God index gets up is by successfully performing miracle combos to help people. So you go Uh from city to city helping people that you find out in the world by doing these combos and if you're successful, you rail grind to heaven. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Okay. Checks out for me. And he's just trying to rail grind into heaven. Rail grind into yeah, yeah. the Lord's house. Okay. Oh, that's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Stop crying, you baby. <laughs> what, what does is that, that mean? <laughs> what is that? It's two games. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Listen, if you guys want to name the game Stop Crying, You Baby, I, I do understand. <laughs> you, we can do that. I mean, I'm kind of into a Tony Walks Pro, uh, <laughs> Tony Walks Pro Prayer, colon, it's two games. Shut the fuck Shut up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, Frank! I I just saw Radical Sabbatical, and I'm I'm feeling some kind of way Ooh, about that. That's good. Yeah, that's that's pretty good, huh? Hmm. That's really the only. I got the Holy Grind. I don't know what that Ooh. is, but they're grinding that, in both of them. If you think about it. Wow. Oh wait. Yeah, you're right. I was gonna say it's only good for the extreme one, but no, it's it's the grind of maintaining. Yeah, rise or grind. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm gonna go out. Of, I'm gonna throw my hat in the ring. I'm gonna say I didn't think Tony Walks Pro Prayer was gonna be dethroned, but I'm Radical Sabbatical is is I think what I want. Oh dang, that's that's really? what I'm feeling. Yeah. How you feeling, Eric? Radical Sabbatical is sick. It does feel like it skews more extreme style. Mm. But I could be into it. And I'm also I'm equally surprised about dethroning pro prayer with the holy grind. Mm, mm, okay, okay. I uh, like that. I like the holy grind as well. Yeah, that's quite good. Now that I've thought about the grind of the day in day out stuff, I mean that's quite good. Yeah, because Tony walks pro prayer, which I have a hard time saying. It's tough to say. It's tough to say. <laughs> Which Tony walks pro prayer. Like once you get used to it, it's fine, but it's just yeah. not, it's not supposed to be like that. It's supposed to be like that. <laughs> it's not supposed to be like that. And it's always good to have a name that nobody can say. That yeah, everyone has a hard time saying. Yeah, yeah. It, that also kind of applies only to the one game, right? The Holy Grind, colon, radical sabbatical, colon. It's two games. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs>
I mean, I would say it's two games. Shut the fuck up. That's going in there somewhere. Slow maybe in the maybe, pitch. Yeah, yeah. Just yeah. the start of the pitch. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I can't really decide. I'm I'm putting my vote in for the Holy Grind. Uh, I'll I'll change my vote to Holy Grind. I'm totally cool with that. I think thematically right. it works. The Holy Grind. Holy Grind. Sick. I've got to come up with one of my terrible little transition lines. Don't sound so excited. <laughs> Here at the pitch stage, we start off the episode by pulling three phrases from the hat. Powered running shoes, monk, and top chef. And throughout the episode, we've taken these three words and we've made a game. Maybe, perhaps, we've made two. To tell us more and to read the pitch, Frank, take it away. Today's game is The Holy Grind. The consequences of your actions. There are many ways to worship. Sometimes life can boil down to one decision, one moment in time, a single choice that changes everything. Will you have sex with your wife or not? Choose the path of radical. You have acquired the holy sneaks of St. Jordan. They have given you the power to pray in unbelievable new ways. Slide, grind, and flip your way through the streets, demonstrating your love of God. Between the different cities you will explore, there will be many people praying for things big and small. Use creative prayer combos to help see these prayers are answered. But don't mess up. You'll only get one shot at scoring enough prayer points for each prayer. These people are counting on you. Power slide, flip, wall run, and more to pull off the most stylish ways to pray God has ever seen. Each miracle unlocked increases your God index, eventually unlocking the ultimate blessing, rail grinding your way to heaven. Where you meet Sonic. Sonic is the God in this game. Or choose the path of sabbatical. In this solemn and peaceful game, live the life of a modest monk, by toiling in your garden and creating culinary masterpieces. Receive prophetic visions, which are recipes sent from on high. Plant and manage your crops, and cook in this slow-paced, calming simulator. There is no death and no combat. Your only goal is to keep your garden healthy and keep your stomach full. As your garden grows and your cooking skills improve, more areas of the monastery in which you reside will unlock. Each new area contains the art and writings of the religion you have devoted your life to. Reveal the image of the Lord by completing these recipes, eventually showing you the true face of God, Sonic the Hedgehog. That's right, Sonic the Hedgehog is God in both games. Ultimately, you may only pick one path. There is no turning back. There is no restarting. It's two games. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I thought your shut the fuck up was great. I feel like you really you gave it your all. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, really, really was feeling that. Um, it's two games. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Yeah. Overkill. <laughs> Overkill. <laughs> Headshot. Kilimanjaro. <laughs> Slayer. <laughs> <laughs> prayer <laughs> prayer oh. god damn for no reason it's so for good. no reason so no you pull the, up a sick combo voice comes yeah. in prayer yeah <laughs> uh beautiful beautiful that is our episode if you'd like to leave your own review that is our episode <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he's got it i've got it look that's our episode thank you so much for listening if you want to leave a review feedback or any notes on today's game you can hit us up at scope creep pod on twitter or at scope creep saloon everywhere else okay yeah send us your (laughs) review of squirt no please email (laughs) your review of the beverage squirt and if you think I, found, I sound sexy, you want to DM me directly, go ahead. Cause go ahead. That's cool. But remember, actions have consequences. 
Our first three episodes are all out now, uh, and we'll have new episodes coming out every month. So follow us to get notified, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> what, you didn't think that was a smooth segue? You didn't think that was, that was a natural good. transition? That was good. That as was is, good. baby, as is. No cuts there. All right, see you next time. Scope Creep Saloon is lovingly brewed by Andrew Johnson, Frank Francis, and me, Eric Peterson. Voice intro by James Herron. Music from Steve Oxen, Roger Tees, Audio Mint, and Pantheon Music, with original music by Sam Vanderhoop Lade. Thanks so much for listening, and come back soon. <laughs>